Hi, it's Kai. Number 10, Bayou Weavers. These beautiful tropical birds nesting colonies are a phenomenon of nature. Found in many countries in Southeast Asia, Bayou Weaver birds take over the trees with their nests. They get their name from the method they use to create their homes because the male weavers craft the nests from a mix of dried grasses, leaves, and palm fronds, intricately weaving and knotting them together to make a nest sturdy and inhabitable. The nests themselves can be recognized by their form with two clear entrances to them, one that leads to the central area of the nest and another that can be used as a side entrance. The process of building these nests is very extensive and some males make as many as 500 supply gathering trips in order to finish theirs. Bayou weavers can build their nests anywhere from trees to more urban areas, although most of them tend to stick to their natural habitats. It's also not uncommon for younger male weavers to practice making these nests before they're old enough to find mates and refine their skills. While the males make up the vast majority of the process of making nests, female bayo weavers will often touch up on the insides of the nests by adding plants or chunks of mud to improve the nest's durability. Number nine, hummingbirds. Normally tucked up high and away in trees or shrubs, hummingbird nests can be difficult to spot at first glance. It's rare to find one in larger trees, since the nests are so tiny and lightweight that they often don't need much support in order to safely stay in place. So hummingbirds tend to choose smaller, thinner branches as building sites for their nests. These tiny little nests are created by the female birds and are shaped like little cups or bowls, relatively narrow with a rounded base. They use leaves, twigs, and even leftover spider webs to build their nests, giving them a soft, spongy texture in order to protect their eggs. These nests are also extremely small considering how small hummingbirds and their eggs are, often only having a circumference of an inch or slightly more or less. The time of the year that hummingbirds start building their nests is entirely dependent on where in the world the subspecies lives. So if you live in an area that has birds and you want to see if you can find a nest nearby, be sure to research what kinds of hummingbirds are in your location and when their breeding and nesting periods usually begin. Number eight, mound building termites. Part of a larger overarching species found throughout the world, the mound building termites of Africa create towering mounds that can contain millions of the insects in one. A single mound, also known as a termitaria, can be as tall as six to nine feet, whoa. Most of the mounds are generally built with the same base structure, but they can vary in shape and form depending on the termite colony building them. The mounds themselves are quite complicated. They contain many chambers and rooms inside for the termite colony to live in and spiraling chimneys that let air in through the top of the termitaria. This equips the termitarias with a natural ventilation and air conditioning system, which lets fresh, clean air be circulated throughout the mound constantly and keep it at a survivable, healthy temperature for the termites to live in. The termitarias themselves are mainly built out of a combination of soil and termite saliva, which solidifies into a durable shelter that can withstand the surrounding ecosystem. Number seven, sociable weaver birds. Native to and very common in Southern Africa, sociable weavers are known for their giant nests that can house numerous families of birds. These birds hold the record for the largest tree nest builders. In fact, the biggest of these nests can be up to 20 feet long and 10 feet tall. Some are so heavy and extensive that they eventually destroy the tree branches they're built on. The nests contain a vast internal network of tunnels and chambers that the birds live in and are made of a combination of twigs and dried out grass, with the twigs being used to secure the top of the nest to the trees they're built in and the grass used to build the interior chambers. The nesting chambers themselves are lined with softer materials in order to provide more comfort for the weavers. They also consistently update their nests with new materials in order to prevent them from wearing out or falling apart. The big communal nests also allow the birds to survive and be comfortable in their African desert home. 
They tend to move into the central chambers at night and during the colder winter months, but stay outside and roost in the more outward areas of it to cope with the desert heat during the summertime. They're even known to allow other species of birds to live in or near the nests too. Aww. And they use this to factor their advantage by having more eyes to watch out for danger and observe all parts of the nest at once and to be on the lookout for any incoming predators or other threats. Number six, tree squirrels. Squirrel nests, also known as drays, are built high up in the trees and can be spotted across America and the UK. The tree-dwelling squirrels make these nests from anything they can find in their forest homes, usually leaves, sticks, moss, tree bark, and bird feathers. Tree squirrels also adapt their homes with the changing seasons, creating cooler, flatter drays in the spring and summer and warmer, drier ones in the autumn and winter months. Sometimes, if they're able to find one, these squirrels will take over an existing hole in a tree, whether it be a naturally occurring one or one that was created by another animal. Squirrel drays can often resemble birds' nests, but you can distinguish the two by looking for other characteristics that point to a squirrel living in one you come across, such as pine cones scattered across the forest floor below and spot the small scratch marks on a tree. If you notice any of these happening in a tree where you live, chances are there's a squirrel nesting somewhere up there. Have you ever actually seen a squirrel nest? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number five, bowerbirds. Once you know what a bowerbird nest looks like, it'll become impossible for you to not recognize it again. These birds are nature's masters of design. They even have two differing distinct nesting designs based on what type of bowerbird they are. A maypole bowerbird or an avenue bowerbird. The maypole bowers build caves out of sticks while avenue bowers place sticks vertically on either side of a pathway in a way that forms an empty street down the middle, hence their name. But these extravagant structures of twigs aren't the only aspect of bowerbird nests that make them so distinct. Their decorations do too. In order to attract mates, male bowerbirds arrange bright, colorful objects in and around their nest structures. These can range from fruit or berries, seeds, flowers, leaves, and even man-made objects like bottle caps or pens. Maple bowerbirds tend to store these items directly in front of their twig caves, while avenue bowerbirds will place them on either end of the pathways created by their own twig constructions. These displays can be huge, with some birds creating tall piles of objects, often coordinating specifically by color, but not always. Some birds will use items of the same color only, and some aren't as skilled at designing as others, making messy nests without the distinctive color organization. Number four, European bee-eater birds. Found in Eastern and Southern Europe and small parts of North Africa, these colorful birds have an interesting way of making their homes. Differing from most traditional birds' nests, European bee-eaters dig their own burrows, constructing them from wooded materials or plants. These burrows are most often dug into the sides of cliffs or created in riverbanks by making holes in the softer sand. These tunnels are on average three feet deep with a narrow entrance that eventually opens up into a larger, wider nesting place. Bee eaters can be spotted in colonies or alone or just a mating pair of two. The process of hollowing out these nests can be long and take many weeks, but on some occasions, colonies will pitch in to work together when digging out these nests and removing soil, where they will eventually lay their eggs in the summer months. Sometimes the birds will reuse older burrows multiple mating seasons in a row, but it's much more common for them to create new ones each year. Number three, chimpanzees. Birds and insects aren't the only members of the animal kingdom that build nests for themselves. Another species that has been documented building them are none other than one of our closest genetic relatives, the chimpanzees. Chimps have been known to build beds of leaves and branches up in the trees. However, these beds aren't used as a living space or a place to raise babies for the chimps the way most birds and insects nests are. They're used for resting and sleeping only. 
Since the chimps also weigh significantly more than most birds, they need to be extra careful when building and securing their nests to the trees, using complex formulas for arranging the branches in the tree to support themselves as they sleep at night. The nests also vary based on the seasons and weather of the areas the chimps live in. They build warmer nests for cooler weather, and in order to keep the nests stable in their rainforest habitats, they also make thicker and deeper nests to combat the heavy rainfall of their ecosystems. Some scientists have studied the nesting behaviors of chimps in order to learn more about our own history as a species and how the habits of apes compare to our own. Number two, red oven birds. Red oven birds, which can be found in parts of South and Central Mexico and the whole continent of South America, are a very adaptive species. They can be found in many different climates, but one thing they have in common is their nesting habits and patterns. Oven birds have a distinct nesting style. Unlike most other species of birds, red oven birds don't make a nest out of twigs, leaves, and other plant matter. They make sphere-shaped nests out of mud and plants, which harden into a strong clay-like substance. Despite looking simple and plain on the outside, these nests are made with quite a bit of special care. The nests are constructed by adding multiple layers of mud repeatedly until a wide enough gap for the birds to enter and leave the nest is left. And the birds must also be careful in the way they apply this mud to prevent the dome from collapsing in on itself. They line the inside of these spheres with grasses for comfort. They can be found in various physical locations, from tree branches to the ground. Sometimes multiple domes will be built on top of each other, creating a tower of circular nests that can house multiple birds. Number one, bald eagles. Bald eagles are native to North America and boast some huge nests. The larger known bald eagle nest on record was found in Florida and was a whopping 20 feet deep and weighing in at nearly three tons. Unlike the previously mentioned hummingbirds and bowerbirds, as well as many other species of birds, bald eagle nests are constructed by both male and female eagles equally. The pair of eagles will work together to both gather the needed materials for their environment to make the nests and take part in the building of it as well. Bald eagle nests are notably large in size, with the average length and depth of most nests being four to five feet across and two to four feet deep, depending on the eagles. Also differing from other birds, many of which redo or construct an entirely different nest each mating season, these eagles are extremely loyal to their existing nests. Bald eagles are known to mate for life and their nesting habits reflect on that. They almost always come back to the exact same one every season, rarely straying from this pattern unless they absolutely have to. They're also known for picking the tallest tree they can find in their area as their nesting place. They make the base of their nest from large branches and sticks and weave grass in between to add extra protection and structure to the nest. The eagles spend around one to three months out of the season building their nests, but sometimes they'll continue to add onto the nest with each season to create more space or repair any damage it might have sustained. They're highly territorial, protecting the land around their nests from other eagles and any other creature that could be a threat to either their food source or their family. Thanks for watching. Are there any other animal architects you think belong on this list? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.